represent any of the people, which is one of the big ones. Come on, cheer on, cheer on, cheer on! Guys, I got one that we've all been waiting for. Boom! The new Traxxas Stampede 4x4. This is the new Brushless BL2S. Comes with the heavy duty kit. It got released the same time the Slash and the Rustler 4x4 got released, but I don't think anyone has it. So let's open this thing up, check it out. So this is the third Traxxas vehicle that's been released with the new brushless system. This new brushless system is awesome. It makes the brushless platforms more affordable. Now you can only run it on 2S. However, my experience with the first two BL2S cars that I ran, it's pretty solid. You can gear it up like crazy. It doesn't overheat. Plenty of power. Significantly faster than the previous brushed versions. With the heavy duty kit, it's extremely robust. I didn't break any of the first ones I got, the Slash 4x4 or the Rustler 4x4, and I sent them pretty good. So now here we have the Stampede 4x4. This is more of a monster truck platform. It's a little bit higher, but because it's a little bit higher, you got more ground clearance, you can jump over stuff, you can go over tall grass, you can hit bigger bumps, and because it's still on that new brush system, it's got plenty of speed. Now the first thing I noticed whenever I saw the new Stampede 4x4 is the body looks exactly like the Haas. I feel like the Stampede 4x4 kind of got overshadowed by the Haas when it got released. They have a new body design. It, <laughs> it looks very similar to a Haas, but it comes in two colors, the green and the blue. I got the really cool, kind of like the electric blue color, which matches really well with the blue heavy duty plastics. Man, this platform is solid. Comes with the sledgehammer tires. I really, really like these tires. They last long and they get great traction. These are a little bit bigger than the ones on the Rustler 4x4 and the Slash 4x4. It should make for a really good all around RC car. All right, as for a proper unboxing, it comes with your TQ remote, not a TQI remote, just TQ. That means it doesn't have TSM. Comes with your little hand tool, some spring spacers, your warranty card, your manual. And then here is the beautiful, beautiful, brand new Stampede. 4x4 brushless, there's your BL2S system. I like how the motor connects to the ESC. There's like a connector here. You don't have to like solder, which you didn't have solder before, but it's not bullets. It's just one connector. Everything integrated so clean. Looks really, really nice. Your heavy duty kit. Here is the body. The body looks just like, when I say just like a Haas, I mean, I think it's the same thing here. I actually brought my Haas over here. This is my heavily modded Traxxas Haas. As you can see, the bodies are pretty much the same thing. I actually, I think they're the exact same thing. Same length, they're the exact same thing. It just says Stampede 4x4. So let's see the chassis, how different they are. There they are side by side. I don't see much difference at all. Yeah, looks just, <laughs> they look exactly the same. One with the BL2S and one with the Valenian VXL. Crazy similar, obviously this one's heavily modded. Lots of mods on this one. This one, nothing. So without further ado, we're gonna throw a battery in here. I'm gonna run the Traxxas 7600 2S. I'm gonna do some performance tests and then we're just gonna go out and burn a couple of packs. Just have some fun, see what it's all about.
Man, it's really kind of crazy that Traxxas did this. This is a great all-around RC car. And I know what you guys think, that I'm a Traxxas fanboy and that they pay me, they don't pay me to say any of this. Like, I drove this truck and I wrecked it pretty hard. Nothing, kept going. And when I wrecked it, I had confidence that nothing was broken. With the heavy duty kit, paired with this brushless system, it is really a strong, robust, worry-free RC car to drive. It's plenty fast, the acceleration's great, we'll still pull the wheels, the tires get good traction. It has enough power where it's fun, but not too much power where it's blowing tires off or the tires come unglued or diffing out like crazy. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun. It is a great, great all-around RC car. If you're buying a car for the first time and you want a really cool monster truck, one that's robust, won't overheat, won't break, I mean, you don't have to look any further than this. Most cars have like major weak points. The only weak point I can see on this truck are the shocks, but that's been my complaint on a lot of the entry level and this is more of like an intermediate level vehicle but they're not really a weak point it's just something that i like to personally upgrade whenever i get these cars but i'm super impressed guys i love what traxxas did with the new bl2s and the heavy duty upgrades but again it's weird like you don't need to upgrade anything you just buy it drive it have fun and upgrade only if you want to oh i tried to get some performance tests in like some speed tests i don't know if it's the overcast but i couldn't lock satellites on my gnss analyzer so unfortunately i didn't get those but again it's got plenty of speed where it's fun and a crap ton of power to climb up stuff and get up obstacles go over obstacles jump get air power wise you won't be disappointed well i hope you liked this video guys if you did smash the like button subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell and you guys will see me next time